soundbar here just to show you how to fit a swabbable tyre onto a wheel basically. Now I read the reviews about these, uh, this is a swabbable London Marathon Plus tyre and it's puncture resistant and this, this wall here, the actual uh, bit that hits the road is so thick it is unbelievable, it's like, there's nothing getting through this tyre trust me. Now I'm actually putting a fatter tyre on this, this is like I think it's a 26 or a 28 and I took a 23 off of here so this is going to be even harder than normal to put on. But when I read reviews about this tyre I read that people had difficulty putting this tyre on and it, you know to the point it actually took them an hour or so to put the tyre on. So I'm just doing this quick video today to show you how to fit the tyre. Now the problem is I've got the tyre half on it's on one side of the rim, this side, but as you push the tyre on, the tyre is so fat it wants to open up like this all the time. So you're trying to, you need to try and keep it, the two wires of the tyre carcass shut on the rim. Now, as you put the tyre on, it just wants to come off the other side. It just doesn't want to go into the rim at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let a little bit of air out. I'm going to show you a little trick. What you need to do first is get the tyre onto into the rim. Now you might have to force it on there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push that on like that. Oh, it's come off already. Right, let's just try and let's just try and get it on a little bit better way around first. Right, so just pick a point and I need to force the tyre on and hold it on, which means I'm going to pinch it and push it down onto the rim. Right, and I've got my hand clamped and I'm pushing that, so you can see this a little bit better up close, but I'm actually pushing the bead onto the rim and I'm going to hold it there. Oh, it's coming out already, look. That is on. Oh, no, it's come off. Right, that is now on. Now, what I'm going to do, my little trick here, is to use some tape. It's come off already, look. You can use tape or a cable tie. Just doesn't want to go on its own. You can see now why it took an hour. Why it takes what's taking people an hour plus to get this tire on. Right. That'll do. That's come off already. Right. Now I'm just going to wrap the tape around and around and around. And the idea is to, it's like having a third hand really, to hold that in place. Now, if that's this, if, I've done this before, but I've used a piece of um, lace. But you can use a cable tie. I've got one on the floor here just in case. Right, let battle commence. So, now the tie is trying to get off the other side already. So I'm just going to push that back on where it should be really weird, I've never, never had to work on a tie like this before. I'm not letting that too much air now.
Right, I've let out too much air now, so I'm gonna stop the video and put some more air in. Right, here we are back again. Um, this is a pig of a job. I've just put some more air in the tire. Um, the reason I'm wearing these gloves is basically, you're basically putting a lot of pressure onto the tire carcass as you put the tire on. And you will impregnate your fingers with bits of rubber, bits of tire. And it's a nightmare trying to wash it out of your hands. So that's why I recommend you wear a pair of disposable gloves. Right, let's crack on with this battle. So I'm starting from where I've already trapped the tire, or tied the tire onto the rim, and that's just gone in there nice. Right, let's keep on while we're winning. You literally have to put the tire um, into the rim and then push it down. So the bead sits in the correct place. Now, when you first put this tire on, it's, it almost feels like the tire is actually too big for the wheel, and it just wants to fall off, which is a really quite a strange sensation, really. But having not really come across that before, I'm just I'm just pushing up the inner tube inside so it can roll on a little bit better. I might need to let a little bit more air out, but we'll we'll see. Okay. Right, I'm going to come back to this side now. So on the back here, this this rim, this um, tyre bead has popped out. So I'm just going to push that back in. There you go, did you hear the click where it's jumped back into place? So you need to keep an eye on that as you're, as you're fighting with this tyre. Right, so let's continue round. Strong fingers are a definite must in this instance. wondering why I'm trying to put this oversized this oversized tile which is hard enough anyway to put on a normal you know if I had a 23 but um, I want a big footprint because I cycled in work the other day on a not this particular one but that's that's the size of 23 and I hit some frost and I nearly lost the back end and I thought well Let's get let's get a, a meteor tire, and hopefully, in the bad weather, it will pay dividends. Right, let's keep it on. No, it just wants to come off. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Right, I'm gonna at this point. I'm going to tie off another point because it is, right I'm going to put another, I'm just going to force this tyre on to the rim again like I did earlier. Get on now. And now I'm going to tie it off with some more tape hold it in place. As I said you can use a cable tie to do this, obviously um, don't want to do it too tight with a cable tie. And, or you could use some string, a piece of rope, whatever, whatever you got basically. Right, that tyre is on, half on basically. Right. Right, that's getting a bit tight now, so I'm going to let out a little bit, a little bit of air. That's enough. I'm just going to roll the inner tube on a little bit. Right, okay, let's start again. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Oh.
Right, we're not, we're, we're still on, on the back, on the back rim, this side of the rim. So I'll be this still in place where you've got this much left to do. Right, so basically use a rolling motion. These gloves are now getting in the way. Roll that bead. Right, with this last little bit. It seems unbelievable that, hang on, see, can you see it here? Where the bead is, where well you probably can't, but the bead is cut. So, so I'm just going to push that back on. Right, that's on. And that will allow, I've let all the air out now, by mistake. That will allow more tyre to come up this way, so this is not so hard to move on. Right, and that's made a big difference. Plus the fact I've got no hardly any air in the tire. Still popping out. Come on. Pinch, 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 get on there. Right on the last. Come on, just get on with it. Right on the last couple of inches now. If it gets too hard, I'm going to have to use the tire lever. But I'm trying not to. Let's just move the tire around nice. Make sure she's on. Right, the last bit. I've got no grip in these gloves now, so this last bit, I don't want to, but I'm going to lose the gloves. Alright. Alright, let's go. to pop that in using the tire lever. I don't think there's any other way around it. Also when you do this you've got to be very very careful you don't actually pinch the inner tube. Now I'm at risk oh look that that is all it needed because I'm nearly there now look there you go and it's on. Right well, now we take off the These other pair of hands, shall we say? And then just pump it up. Put a little bit of air into it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to fit the swabbable London tyre onto a rim. Okay. Hope that was of some help to somebody struggling. Um, like obviously I was, I'm out of breath now, but that should be a good tyre. And um, I didn't even think about which way it goes on because there is a tread pattern here and on a motorbike tyre you normally get like an arrow pointing the direction basically the tyre goes, the wheel goes that way and I think they point do you know what, I'm not going to take it off if it's wrong but I think it's right but if it was wrong, it can stay wrong <laughs> thank you very much hope that helps somebody thanks for watching